What's up guys? Just a quick video for you today. And it's kind of an important one though. We're just at the beach riding home from the park. Remember the, the last couple of videos were at this park? Like uh, like a I don't even know what it is. It's like there's zombies oh. around and stuff, but it's a real nice place. And we're on the way back from there, and I'm just showing you this one segment that came up but later I'll show you the full ride it's like 30 minutes or something because I'm riding on the footpath because remember those cops that like well just that one cop really he gave me that massive fine and he said I can ride on the footpath though so now I'm just like riding on the footpath on the same beach this is basically where he caught me right so now I'm like stuck to the footpaths and I kind of like I'll hop onto the road and just like do a quick sprint here and there but mostly it's just this from now on guys admittedly I'm going a bit fast here on the footpath stop right there all right so I slowed down a little bit and what we call this, what's right in front of us, is a blind corner. You can't see what's past it. Yet, it's right ahead. It's right in front of you. Whatever's around that corner is going to be right in your face. In Well, it depends how fast you're going, doesn't it? If you're going fast, it's going to be there real quick. And if you're a cyclist, and guys, by the way, cyclists ride down here and scooters and all that and they go about <clears throat> like four, 30 to 40 k's an hour you know like some of them go slower but they get up to decent speeds on the footpaths here and if you're a cyclist and you're pedaling you're not going to slow down. Even for this blind corner, you're going to be like, oh, well, you can't see past that bush, but, you know, I'm just going to keep going. You know, I'm going to assume nothing's like, you know, it's not going to just be some kid right there, is there? Right? What are the chances? It would be silly to be right there. So you're just going to keep your speed, 30 k's an hour, 40 k's an hour. And you're just going to hope, I guess, aren't you? Just hope that a kid is not just right there, right? But I'm on my EUC, guys, and I see what can happen. You see? So what I do is I slow down. I slow right down. I say, okay, that's a blind corner. I'm not going to take my chances, and I never do, guys. And that's the... That's the awesome thing about an EUC because we're in perpetual balance and harmony with the G-forces, right? I talked about it in the last video. In order to slow down, you've got to lean back first. In order to accelerate, you've got to lean forward first and it always happens in constant harmony. You don't accelerate any harder than you lean. You don't break any harder than you lean backwards. And it happens in such a way that the G-force is kind of cancelled out. I mean, it's not cancelled out, but... It's in harmony with your lean angle. So you don't feel any discomfort. You don't feel any like force shifting you forward. Like on a car, like in a car, right? And you brake hard, you want to grab onto something, don't you? Because your whole body is like being thrusted forward. Same with a motorbike. You brake hard, you're grabbing onto that handlebar extra hard. On an EUC, you don't have to worry about that. You only brake as hard as you lean. So you don't feel any discomfort. Even if you're riding an e-bike, you don't want to be braking all the time, right? If you Say if I was on an e-bike right at this moment, right behind this blind corner, I, I wouldn't want to brake either because it's uncomfortable. When you brake hard, it's very uncomfortable. You want to grab that handlebar extra tight, you know? On an EUC, it's actually fun. It's actually, it feels good. It's kind of like, some, one of my favorite things about riding actually is accelerating and decelerating. And cornering, which is also a form of acceleration. And that's why I always slow down. It doesn't, there's no exception. 
if I have a blind corner like this, I'm going to slow down. And you're going to see in a minute why that can be a very good thing. Are you ready? Play. Can you imagine what, what would have happened? No worries. What would have happened right there? See how he just like moved to the side? He was in the wrong lane. He was in the wrong side. He was like walking, you know, taking up all the lanes. So if you're going fast, that would have been a collision, guaranteed. There's nowhere to go. It's such a narrow path that you can't do anything, right? So, yeah, oh man, that's lucky and... But it's not lucky because I always slow down for blind corners. If I can't see what could possibly happen in the next few moments or something that won't be in my control, right? Then I'm not going to take the chance. If I can see way ahead and there's nothing there and there's no way anyone can like cross my path, like jump out from a, you know, a pedestrian intersection, then I can go fast, you know, I will go fast. But even times like these, you know, there's just lots of people around. And <clears throat> I just take it easy, guys. It's just at the beach. And it's fun to ride these things slow as well, guys. Like, you know, as much as I hate being held down by these cops, you know, trying to restrict my speed, limit my range. It's, um, there's something about riding slow, you know, you find new ways to enjoy the wheel. And I enjoy it at any speed, to be honest, even at, like, walking speed. And that's it, guys. Oh, man, this thing's awesome. And that's going to be it, I reckon. We're going to end it here. That's the fake pelican up there, remember? And then we saw the real one just down here. A few videos back. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Peace. Alright guys, got some final thoughts. And basically, it's about risk. Talking about what happened back there with a the kid being right there in the blind spot, you know? And it's lucky I'm on an EUC because I've got the luxury of being able to break whenever I want. No worries, no issues, no discomfort, no trouble getting back up to speed. It's all fun. It's all fun and games, so I can just do it, you know? Do it for the community, for the greater good. And speaking of bicycles again, though, since they can't, they don't have that luxury. They can't brake for every blind corner, for every pedestrian like I can. And I don't blame them. You know, life is all about risk. Well, it's not all about risk, but risk is present everywhere in life. Think about it, like, even just when you back your car up, you know, someone gets in their car, puts it in reverse, they just look through their mirror, turn their head, and just start going backwards, and they assume some kid didn't just go and crawl under one of their four tires, right? They've got four wheels. Any one of them can just crush someone, especially a kid. They assume some kid didn't just go and crawl under one of them. And it's a fair assumption. What are the chances? Pretty much zero. But it's there. It, there's a chance. You know, it's possible. It happens. Probably happens all over the world every day or somewhere in the world, you know. And people take that chance because you, you're not going to get out of your car and check under all your tires every time you want to reverse your car. You just hope and you assume that some baby didn't go and crawl under it. And you take that risk. Same with the cyclists. They assume some kid didn't just like put himself right in the blind spot around the corner of the path. But it happens. 
See, and we saw it today. No worries. So the EUC saved the day, didn't it? And the cop wants to take these things off the road. What a damn shame, guys. What a doofus. They just don't understand. They don't understand these things, guys. But I kind of don't blame him either, because if I was a cop and I'd never seen one of these things, I would probably think it looks crazy. You know, it looks kind of. So I can see where he's coming from, but he just has no idea, does he? But let's end it here, guys. We'll see you back in the next one. And I'm glad I got a video out today, because I was, like, debating whether or not to, like, put the effort in, you know? I was just going to leave it till tomorrow, you know, just upload it tomorrow, or, like, make it tomorrow. I pretty much made it all, like last minute you know i just like oh, screw it i'm just gonna do it and just got stuck right into it guys so here we are at the end and if you're still listening now that's awesome because this is the end of the video or it should be and yeah i appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video and guys we just hit 4k um watch hours that's like a milestone for youtube like 1,000 subscribers and 4K watch hours is what you need for monetiz to get monetized. So you can get like AdSense revenue and stuff. But I've only got 400 subscribers. So we hit that 4K milestone super early. So that's like a sign that you guys are like engaged in the videos. You know, you're watching it for good durations and that's awesome. I appreciate that, guys. And yeah, we've got a we've got some good videos coming up. There's like a, there's a ton of videos I want to make, and I just don't know which one to make. You know, I've got all this footage, just like terabytes of video, 360 video, and like all kinds of video on my phone, smartwatch, that zoom camera. Action cam. Oh, oh man, I've got to gather it all and organize it, you know, so I can like get these videos out that I want to make. But we'll get to them, we'll get to them. All right, guys, peace.